a renowned philosopher from Greece. Timeline 470 BC to 400 BC. Socrates was a Greek philosopher from Athens and is considered to be among one of the first model philosophers of the world. He is also considered to be the founder of Western philosophy. Socrates grew up during the Golden Age of Athens and served with distinction as a soldier during the Peloponnesian War. However, he became best known for his Socratic method of question and answer and for professing his own ignorance regarding many of the ethical subjects that he investigated. Socrates did not teach his philosophies using the conventional ways of conveying his knowledge, but rather using the method of asking questions. He would keep questioning the answers of his students until they arrived at their own understanding of the topic under discussion. Socrates was born in Athens around 470 BC and lived in Athens almost his entire life. His father was a stonemason and his mother was a midwife. As a youth, Socrates launched his career as a foot soldier. Through the 420s, Socrates was deployed for several battles in the Peloponnesian War, but also spent enough time in Athens to become known and beloved by the city's youth. As an individual, Socrates is described as an ugly-looking person with a flat nose and bulging eyes. He is also described to walk barefoot, have long hair, and not take baths in a society that had highly refined standards of beauty. He was a controversial figure in his native Athens, so much so that he was frequently mocked in the plays of comic dramatists for his philosophies and looks. By his unconventional ideas, Socrates came into conflict with the contemporary government. Socrates believed that not everybody was fit to rule and that to run the government was an art which could be perfected by knowledge. Socrates also questioned the traditional gods of Athens. All this made many enemies for Socrates, who started putting pressure on him to take back much of what he said. The social life of Socrates therefore became troubled, but unfortunately he had no peace on the domestic front either because his wife Xanthip was a cruel and peevish woman. When Socrates refused to take back his ideas and beliefs, his enemies charged him with 399 guilds of corrupting the Athenian youth by turning them against the traditional gods. The charges were baseless, but the majority found him guilty and sentenced him to death. Socrates was requested by his followers to escape him from the jail, which he could do easily, but Socrates refused to do so. For the sake of his ideas and beliefs, he gladly embraced death by drinking the cup of a deadly poison, Hemlock, and died in 400 BC. History offers only a few examples of such glorious death. Socrates did not write any books, nor did he document any of his works. What we know about him is through the works of his students and admirers, including Plato and Xenophon. The works of Plato, Xenophon, and other authors who use the character of Socrates as an investigative tool or written in the form of a dialogue between Socrates and his interlocutors and provide the main source of information on Socrates' life and thought. However, the works of Plato and Xenophon diverge substantially in representing Socrates as a person. Since all that is known of his philosophy is based on the writing of others, reconstructing the philosopher's beliefs in full using second-hand records of this great personality remains an open question facing scholars today. This is often referred to as the Socratic problem or Socratic question. I hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when I add more such videos. Bye for now.